Hi. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Legends. Hi trolls. <laughs> How is it? How are you? I'm glad some being first. Um, I haven't even put it on the right screen here. Um, you can see it though. You can see it. There you go. Um, <laughs> you're eating breakfast? Nice. Hi Juggernautilus. You know, you should have started early from time to time at 50 minutes. Well, yeah, but look, sometimes you just want to play. <laughs> I just want to play a game. I'm awake. Um, I slept for five hours. Is this good? We need, sometimes you just need to, need to play. <laughs> Uh, jeez. I'm honestly, I'm strangely rested. It's sometimes that happens, right? When you get a very low amount of sleep, but somehow. What the hell was. I don't know if I should fight you. I feel like he's gonna beat me up. Um, there is a Paris there though. Oh. Cheer dude. Oh. <laughs> okay. I see. I see. You wanna... Do you want to fight this guy? Ooh. Yeah, I... Hi Squid, how are you doing? So I, um... I stayed up yesterday playing games with people for until like just past midnight, I think, something like that. So part of that was also me just watching and talking to people while they play games, but um, basically that. And then instead of going to bed like a normal person would, especially if they have to get up at, you know, noon. Um, I then watched four YouTube videos, three, of, no, one of which was nearly two hours long. <laughs> I did watch them at one and a half times speed, so there's that, but um... <laughs> In an hour you're going to a cat cafe with your parents. Nice trolls. If you're your hungover squid, oh no. Hopefully it's not too bad. Okay, please, oh come on. Nice. Oh, that was a critical as well. Uh, right. Paris, you're mine. Um. Yeah, somehow, even though I went to bed, like, what, three, four, I don't even know, um, and woke up at like nine, maybe eight even, I felt fine. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is great. I'm doing good. Okay, perfect. What have you got? Okay, you're level 30. Um, let's see. Hopefully Staravia can survive one attack. That's my hope. It cannot. Well, <laughs> that's kind of bad. 
Um. Hmm. Okay, Bidoof, I believe. I believe in the dream. Okay, the dream is dead. That's okay. Um, beautify? Maybe? <laughs> One, one of you guys is going to be able to take it down enough to- oh? Maybe? Maybe? Um... Okay, Weasel. Get in the ball. I am a master. Pokemon master here. Uh, okay. So we got an alpha. Let's get you to do that. Hey, age. What are you doing? Uh, okay, let me go over here. Save for one. So we should do that. And then Shinx can evolve. Lovely. Here we go. Oh, I love that so much. They really make you hype to evolve something, and it's great. I'm there for it. Um, nice. I love. Luxio, Luxray, I, lo I love this, that entire evolutionary line. It's amazing. Actually, Paris, Paris, please. What the hell, Paris? What? What, what even is that? What are you even casting? What are you... What? Run away! <laughs> I don't like them attacking me. Oh my god, we're finding all the new Pokemon and it's great. Okay, Paris. That should bring you mushroom I've been wanting to get. I wasn't there, don't worry about it. Just go about your business. It wasn't me. No one here at all. You can't see me in the grass. Thank you. Any idea on who the bad guy is in this game? Um, you mean besides God who took us out of our time and place and dropped us here? I feel like <laughs> Arceus doing that is kind of a bad thing to do. But then again, maybe... 
it is God, so maybe he knows that it, it'll be fine, but still. Like, dropping a 15-year-old in a, in a place with all these dangerous Pokémon where they might just, you know, die isn't exactly the best. I don't know if there is actually a, a bad guy otherwise. There might be. But it could also just be researching Pokémon. Just becoming the very best Pokémon researcher, you know? Doesn't need to have a bad guy necessarily. Oh, there's another Alpha Cricket tune. So can I just catch these without? I, I do wonder if I can catch them without actually battling them. I doubt it, but I I'm curious. Does say I can maybe catch it. Just very low chance. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. No one here. <laughs> no one at all. I swear. There's no one here. <laughs> Come on. Oh damn it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Um Um <laughs> Okay. What level is he? Thirty Ah oh, jeez. Think. Yeah. I think we might have to run. <laughs> Possibly. Right. Uh, level 30, just about. If it levels up once, no. I don't have spares. I don't have space in my satchel. Oh, damn it. Um, even with the extra bag space, I still don't have enough space. XP candy. Hmm. I do want to go back to camp. Rest a little bit. Buy extra bag space. Only 4.99%. No, you can get extra bag space. Um, from a guy in town who sells it for, well, a growing amount for each slot. Um, I think the next one is, uh, 1500, which we could get, but at the same time, I'm like, do we really need, need that much space? I guess I guess we do. Oh jeez. Just a little sneeze in, in between there. 
Um, okay, woods. We need three wood. We've got two. Um, we've got honey cakes. I'll keep the red candy in here. Uh, can you swap out my Pokemon as well? Yes. So I want to put Beautifly in here and it's a take Ponyta. And let's see. I mean, for now, we'll keep this. We've got a lot of options. Oh, look at this parasect, though. Look at this boy. A girl, actually. <laughs> Didn't realize. Oh my god. Level 30. So yeah, this is another alpha Pokemon that we did catch uh, at the start. It's a big boy. A girl. Why do I say that? <laughs> I mean... I mean boy in a... Joking manner. Big girl does work though. Um, so, I mean, what are the stats like compared to like? So, 129 attack compared to 72. Oh my god. Many beweasels. Let's see. We still only caught one large beweasel though. I've been meaning to catch another large beweasel for a long time. I've just been un unable to. Okay, let's see. I know Buizel is around this area. Okay, we're, go we're gonna fly, I think. Let's see. I think this will work, yeah. No. <laughs> I, I want to know what happens if you roll off, because I think the roll is even faster. Okay, there's there's the weasels. Now which one? That one seems pretty big. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Gave you a telescope to check focus stats in advance. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So I don't think you can, because you can zoom in like this, but I don't think. It yeah, it doesn't give you info. Like what I'm looking for. Oh, that one is sleeping. Look at him. I like them just ignoring the other one. Just being like, I want to catch this one. Weasel, what have you got? Now, if you can survive this, let me catch you. 
Nice. Now, is it a big boy? Again. We've got this. Oh, come on. Weasel, please. Stay in the bowl. There you go. Oh god. Okay, that looks like a big one. Am I wrong? That looks like a big one. I'm, I'm not sure. It's so hard to tell. Can you stand next to each other? Can you? Yeah, he's definitely bigger than that, the other one. Definitely bigger. Question is, is it big enough for the quest? Um, quick attack. Nice. No, I didn't think they grow as they level. Ah, see, number of large specimens. Okay, but is it is it large enough? That's the question. Let's just fast travel. Um. Okay, summary. Two seven. I think he wanted to see 2-8. What a bastard. Why does he have to be so specific? Because I think the f this one is 2-6. Yeah. Needs to be a little bit larger still. Why? <laughs> I've got so many fucking weasels. Oh my god. Look at all the weasels. Um They're cute though, well yes, but they're taking up a lot of space in the pastures. Uh let's see. Well, at least we completed Buizu. Let's see, what do we need to do for for Bonita? Number of heavy specimens. You can't just say that. Get one whole pasture for weasels. Yes. Um. Oh, we do right. Oh, clicked the wrong thing. Yeah. So we did investigate the Bidoof that bothered the village. Haven't caught any heavy Bidoofs. I don't even know how he would. How could you tell if one of them is heavy? Do they get wide? <laughs> is it like wide boys? I, I don't know. Okay, let's see if this works. 
We. <laughs> oh my god, did I die from that? I died from Oh no! Don't drop my items. That's awful. That's actually awful. Is it, is it like I can pick those back up? Or no, is that just gone? Because that's a very stupid way to lose items. Especially medium XP candy, which is very, very nice to have. Yeah, but that's not where I was. Like, Norm's not lost satchel. Max has lost satchel. I don't, I, since it doesn't show me on the map or anything, I don't think you can actually get them back. Um, that also gives you an extra reason to put stuff in the item stash, to be fair. Yeah, that's quite annoying. I wish I had saved shortly before, after I caught caught the weasel. Though I guess I no, I don't want to go back. It's fine. It was a couple of nice things, like two revives and stuff, but it's actually not nothing too bad, except for the, maybe the medium XP candy. Okay. Starter is, is not gonna be in Oshawa anymore. The what? The what? <laughs> Checking that. It seems you only get your stuff back if connected online and another player picks up your stuff. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So wait, how close are we now to... Oh, right, that was the whole thing. And we did it. Nice. The evolution was the only thing we needed for the... Uh... Uh, that en entry. Oh, Abra, no! <sighs> Damn it. I don't have a lot of Abras. They keep running away. can make. Let's craft a lot more Pokeballs, like 16 of them. Craft some more Heavy Balls.
Let's craft some more revives as well. We lost some of them. It's not like we've needed any of them, but... Oh god. Him again. Okay, Krikachun, what have you got? Okay. Okay. I see. I see. Um... Hmm. Bidoof? <laughs> Can you survive? Maybe? Okay. Never mind, you can't survive. Okay. He just had a little nap and then murdered. So the interesting thing about sleep in this game is that it's more like they're drowsy and it works like paralysis. It has a chance to stop them from attacking rather than just keeping them from attacking in, in general. Oh, wait. Oh, so we can check. Interesting. All the Pokemon stats are boosted. The Pokemon also takes reduced damage from status conditions and move effects such as poisoning and splinters. What splinters? The Pokemon is drowsy may fail to act. Any damage it takes is also increased. Oh, okay. So that's how it's different from prior losses. Interesting. Ponyta's level 4 though. Oh, actually. Oh no, Ponyta's level 8 now. It leveled up a bit. Oh, stop resting. Burn. Yeah. I, I realized that. I just forgot that it had leveled. Um, I, I really feel like this is not going to work. <laughs> Mostly because he has rest and he just keeps being very annoying. If he could survive one attack, that would be nice. Come on. Damn. Okay. I'm just gonna try. Maybe I should have used the heavy ball. No, it's fine. Got him. Boom. What move did you learn? Water pulse, nice. We should actually go back to camp, shouldn't we? The Pokemon are attacking me. <laughs> Hello? Have you ever come across a 
a tree shaking and swaying. I have. Yeah. That usually means there's a Pokemon in there. Same with the, the rocks. They can also do that. And then once you break it or shake it, um, the Pokemon comes out and then you fight it. It makes sense. Oh yeah, that, there's the Parasect. So that's the one we caught earlier. Big boy or girl. I don't know if it's a boy or girl this time. We're not going to find out. <laughs> Shake it until you make it, exactly. Okay. Going towards that big tree. Oh, Pikachu! Pikachu! It's a Pikachu! You sneak. Cricketot? No. Oh, get out of here. Okay, he's gonna run away. That's good. Pikachu? I won with bacon. It has sort of sneaky sneaking. Trying to, trying to catch this Pikachu unawares. It's just sitting there. Oh, I missed. <laughs> it's okay. First try. Okay, never mind. No, Pikachu, no. Oh no. Pikachu. Um, I only have water Pokemon Pikachu. I don't like this. Are you level 10? I think this should be okay. Okay. Um, Pokeball. Get in the ball. No! Pikachu! Why? But I hope you're doing well, one with bacon. Uh, okay, thanks. You got a Pikachu. There you go. Wasn't as clean as I would like it to be, but... It's a light specimen. Fine, good, good. That's what I like to hear. Is that Star Raptor? It is. It is. Look at them. Look at the boy. Or girl. <laughs> I don't know why I always go to... Boy, it's such a... Standard thing. Exactly that. <laughs> exactly that. Dupes. And that's a Pipparo. Can I get them? Uh oh. 
Um, I'm not here. Oh god. <laughs> okay. We've got this. This is a Volt Bidoof, yes. Bam. Get in the ball. Did it. What's this? Just a rock? Iron chunk. Oh, nice. Oh god, there's an alpha. <laughs> oh god. Can we see what level it is? If I sneak up on it. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. No. Please. Please, no. Level 16. Actually, not too bad. Can I? Oh my god, I got <laughs> Nice. <laughs> um, I am kind of... It's kind of dangerous right now because I only have two Pokemon that are healthy. I should probably... Looks like there's a new Alpha in town yet. Okay. Let's just... I've got a lot of revives. Might as well use them. Right? Mostly. Oh, uh, Boniri. Oh my God, Boniri. Couldn't quite get the back strike, but nice. There's more of them. Okay, Veneri, come on. I know you want to join me, I think. Oh god, no, don't run away, no, Paneri. Hmm, are you just gonna be looking at me or no? Are you actually gonna look away? 
Oh, nice. Fell asleep. <laughs> That's the way to do it, I guess. Oh, no. Got out. I got out. Okay, nice. Oh, come on. Why, <laughs> Why do they not want to be caught? Why? Fine. Oh, Psyduck. Psyduck. Wait, is that the very big Braniri or am I just imagining things? No, catching sleeping ones is not 100%. Maybe if you get a backstrike on it as well, it might be, or close to. Oh, side up. Okay. Oh, come on, don't avoid the attack. No, but do. Um, Arabia. Aerial Ace. Maybe I can get this Psyduck without it seeing me. Maybe. Nice. Okay. So this shrine is supposedly where Cleavor is at, I think. Yeah, there, look, there's an image of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> the Cleaver is one of the new Pokemons. And it's, um, it's quite something. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the warden of Warden to Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleaver. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. Is it supporting its back? Got back problems? <laughs> back pain problems due to carrying heavy blades? I, I imagine it might. That's that then, I guess we're not going to see Cleaver. Well, too bad. I'll do anything. Oh, such earnest desire to meet mighty Cleavor. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Irida that I'm to let no one near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now, while you still can, or face the wrath of my Kumi. 
I'll take you on. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Oh no. Poor Gumi. Look at them. Look at the boy. Five months prime sub. Thank you so much. Damn. Yeah, take that, Gumi. Get out of here. So, what's he gonna do now? Oh, he's so sad. How can this be? I, I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver right now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally I'd, try, I'd simply try making him an offering, a nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleavor is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. Ancestors of Cleavor, Beardir and their cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it said. It's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in Vastisui today. Rita, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by li that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Wow. Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hoped we could bring the situation under control ourselves. Not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. I'll, um, I'll, I'll figure something out. <laughs> it's not like we have a plan or anything, but we'll figure it out. Very well. Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleaver in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy. Even if you must search every corner of Vastisui. <laughs> God's calling. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camp camps in an instant. I've been doing that. <laughs> I've been doing that already. I've been doing that. Except I've... Like... I'm serious, I've just been doing this. Like, it, it gives me the choice now, but I could already go like this and then travel here. Oops, he got stuck for a second. A 
Okay. Um. I have to see my Pokemon. Let's see, Baneeries. And Psyduck. <laughs> the difference between Padoof and Big Barrel, like the face, Padoof is like happy and just kind of just looking forward to life a bit. And then Big Barrel is like, what have I done? <laughs> Badoof is content. It's like, yeah, this is fine. Barrel is not. <laughs> that's, that's the look of someone who has seen a lot of shit, really. <laughs> Where did it all go wrong? Uh, Pikachu. I'm actually curious. Um, Pikachu. There. Number you've caught without being spotted. Number of different forms. Number you've evolved. Right. Hi, Sunburn. You managed to fix the internet overnight. Nice. Glad to hear your internet is back. <laughs> That's good. Good to see you, Marty. And how is your research into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. Um. Oh, not quite. Oh, is that so? No, that's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite foods will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mold this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear girl. Oh my god, look at the 22. 22 Pokemons. Due to wind, internet went down around 10 p.m. Oof. Eight thousand eight hundred bucks. Awesome. We're rolling in the cash now. You could really change your looks with that amount of money. Yeah. Um. So what should watch Shinx, Buizel, Drifloon? We also got, actually. Nice. Um, Cricketot we've done. Cricketune we've done, actually. Nice. Oh, it's not quite enough. Almost went straight to three stars. Almost. So according to the information you were able to learn from Irda and Leon of the Pearl Clan, were this the normal course of events that frenzied Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods? I do wonder. Is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver but draw him back from his frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in, in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment. He would? I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Ah, yes. <laughs> Just looking at the map, looking at the books. Very interesting. <laughs> looking at more books. Professor, are you okay? <laughs> Eureka. <laughs> I've been looking at maps and books 
without actually reading them, mind you. He's just been looking at them. He's not actually been... Because he's been looking at the books, like, while they're stacked up like that. He didn't open them or anything. <laughs> Hi, Lei. Also, God calls you to explain fast travel tutorial, but not to magic cleaver lightning strikes. True. The answer lies in the book titles. Ooh. Eureka, yes. We'll simply have to throw the food. <laughs> this is your brilliant idea. This is your brilliant idea. You were like, oh, they, they leave offerings of food for for this giant Pokemon. And um, he, he won't, we can't actually get close enough to give him the food. So we throw it at him. We throw it at him so he can't avoid the food. Isn't that brilliant? It's like, wait, they can't get close enough to put it on the shrine. So, you want to get close enough to throw it at him. I feel like that's more dangerous. He clearly hasn't fell for the book. <laughs> yeah. Throw a pizza at me next time I'm mad. I feel like that would work though. <laughs> well, actually, it depends. It depends if, the, if I can catch the pizza. <laughs> If you just if you just give me the pizza, I'll be happy. But I don't know about throwing, yeah. <laughs> what what lay? I'm I'm just being honest here. You've quite the arm for throwing things. I haven't haven't you, Marty? I I guess. Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? But makes sense. No, don't elaborate, please. Elaborate, please. What is this? What is this master plan you've got? Because I want to know. <laughs> I, I'm not going to be like, yes, this is fine. This is this makes sense. No. <clears throat> yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls, then throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. I don't know if that's true. I don't think throwing food at a Pokemon hard is going to calm them down. <laughs> the... A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself, as for what to call these yummy projectiles. Well, how about tea time balls? <laughs> tea time balls. <laughs> Puts one in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? I uh, no. Are you sure, professor? They're your own inventions, why not call them Leventon Balls? Th that, that would be even worse. I think he doesn't want his name on it. He knows it's a bad idea. You like Aegis' suggestion better? Same. Pokonoms is much better. Oh my, with that name, I'd, it'd sound like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. No. I mean, maybe, but... What? <laughs> this guy. Why are we listening to him? In any case, we can rely on the pro, pro clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? So they're, they're going through all this trouble, gathering all these ingredients for the food and stuff. Then they're like, okay, we've got these, these things prepared for giving it to Cleaver. And we're like, ah, okay, let me just make balls. And they're like, why are you making balls? And then throwing them at Cleaver and they're like, what the fuck are you doing with our food? <laughs> Why are you throwing it? <laughs> oh my god. Hurry back to Grand Tree Arena and tell the pro clan about our brilliant plan. 
I don't want to tell them about the plan. They're gonna laugh in my face. You're just gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is that stupid plan? Actually, is there more on here? Nothing. Okay. The warden freaking out. That's no way to feed our glorious leader. Exactly. The glorious leader. Um. Okay. So, let's look at, at our missions. Actually, right, so that's the current one. So we still don't have the Boweasel that we want. I'm pretty sure. What is Cleaver's food anyway? Uh, his favorite food, I don't know. They, like the, the pro clan was like, oh, we'll collect his favorite food. But they weren't like specific about what they're trying to find. Maybe they want it to be a secret. I don't know. Uh, which one was actually the biggest? Was it this one? Yeah. I don't think it's good enough. Yeah, he wants two eight. Why does he want two foot eight? This bastard. I've had this quest forever and I can't seem to get a big enough weasel that this guy is like, ah, yes, that's good enough. Wait, why is it? Why is the sorting? Oh, okay, there you go. Um, do we have any inside of the village? No. Okay. You saw someone on Twitter with an absolutely massive Luxio, nice. It does say there's a mass outbreak of Buizel right now. So maybe if we go to... Can you tell me how Pokemon make themselves tiny? No, I cannot. I don't know how they do it. My my, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters, I'll give them that. Oh yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. So, let's head to... What did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? I don't want to go to the Heights Camp. No? Well actually maybe that's fine. I wanted to go to the other camp though. We're there. We're. I spoke to Weirder about what's been going on. I told him you've been trekking all over the fieldlands seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our, our clan or the pro clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift in, uh, into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. <laughs> Weirders found you worthy, you see? Which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for her, Mai? This is very important, so listen well. That's a Celestica flute that Mai, Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on Weirdir, so you can ride upon him. It's said the Celestica fruits were gifted from the almighty Sinnoh himself, itself, and now 
This one's yours. Nice. Mount, yes. Can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. Its timber is eerie and mysterious. It's not that grand of a gesture, really. I can't play the flute, flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. Natural. Raider opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. You received a mind plate from Raider. What? Uh, okay. I don't know why he had a mind plate on him, but sure. Now use that Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with the Great Weirder. You've got friends at Pokemon to quell at Grand Tier Arena, haven't you? With Weirder you can gallop you can gallop across the field stands in no time. Uh, press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert from wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places. Celeste flute, no Celestica flute. Close, but not quite. Um. Yeah, avoid falls from high places. I'm not sure if I can do that. It's it's difficult. Nice to meet you, young Survey Corps re recruit. I heard you have a rare bill. The rare ability to dash over hill and veil on the back of a Pokemon, yes? Well, why not try your hand at the balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simple, really. You need, just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible ride up while riding on a Pokemon. If you ba manage to burst, say, 17 balloons, well, that'd be an, an impressive start. You can find me here anytime. So let me know when you feel like testing your skill. Okay, let's try. I'll give it a try. There are 30 balloons. Let's see how many can burst. Okay, we haven't actually ridden Raider before, but I'm sure that's fine. Oh, I forgot to jump. Bam. Ooh, close. The weirdo have gone extinct. What happened? Have they all been hunted to, the, to extinction? No, modality wrote them all off a mountain. Wow. Wow. Aren't you murdering them that way? Wait, the, the balloons? The balloons are in the shape of a Pokemon, but they're not actually the Pokemon. <laughs> Where's 27 balloons? So close to bursting them all. A little reward should help you keep, keep motivated. Three spring and mushrooms. Nice. Fifteen feather balls, nice. And a rare candy as well. You can take part in balloon races in other places as well. This race is the easiest of the lot. Let's see if you have what it takes to challenge them all and raise your skills to the next level. Um Gonna move some stuff over. Um, I 
Okay. That's what they tried to sell him. <laughs> oh no. You're actually murdering Pokemon. Okay, can we try again? I hope, because I might be better now than I was earlier. Come on, let's see this. Oh, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Why am I like this? Okay, can we reset? Can we restart? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know it wasn't the prize, that's fine. This is like the Mario Kart speedruns now. Oh, just barely. one so close oh my god yeah I'm not used to using a controller so use like swapping the camera while riding is not not easy Because I have to hold B to dash. And then press Y to jump. And while doing that I can't really adjust the camera at all. Or barely. I have to do it for those turns. Perfection. Perfection? <laughs> you popped every single balloon? You're definitely a balloon bursting boss, that's for sure. And that means you deserve something special to mark the occasion. A nugget. Nice. And a rare candy. Awesome. Wait, how are there? I forgot I got three springy mushrooms from him. Um, okay, now where do we go? Oh right, I wanted to go back here. Uh, oh, there. You've completed Cricketox's Pokedex page? Great. Quickly now, let me have a look. 
Oh, so Cricket Dot produces the cur curious sound of theirs by hitting their antenna together. Hmm. I wonder if Anvin from the su Supply Corps could put together an instrument with a similar shape to those antenna. Well, for now, thanks for going out of your way to solve this tonal en enigma. Here, take these. Thank you. You're such a hard worker. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Um, actually, uh, map missions. These. And that's a springy mushroom if I ever did see one. I'm glad I chose you for my request. You've got what it takes to be a fine mushroom forager. By the way, did you know that springy mushrooms like this one multiply in no time? That's why you'll find them all over the obsidian fieldlands. And they're versatile for too. Fry them, stew them, they'll taste great either way. But I digress. Let's get to, to teaching you my recipe. I'll just use that handy workbench over there. And here you have it, the del delectable mushroom cake, beloved by Pokemon far and wide. Just throw one at a wild Pokemon and if it's partial to a nice mushroom snack, you can bet your bottom toadstool, toadstool it'll go after the cake lure. You can use that opening to make your getaway or of course to try to catch the Pokemon. Okay. So... So he was literally like, oh, I'll show you my recipe. And then he tells me to make it myself as well. Rather than, you know, him helping me make some. Oh my god. I love it. Okay, there's a weasel, it's not very big. Other weasels. That one looks okay. There's a satchel there as well. We can grab that. Nice, it was a large one. I thought as much. So oh god. But how large? Yeah, that's the question, isn't it? Oh, wait, double hit is... Oh! Adopts a hard-hitting stance to increase the damage dealt by its move by 50%. And then tackle. Bam. Didn't even kill. Well, Ponyta, please. I thought you were stronger than this. Satchel was sent back to Max. So 
So there's Why has Max lost multiple satchels in very different places? <laughs> Who is this Max and why is he losing his satchels all over the place? Max is not very good at dodging, yeah. Oh my god, that one. Chunky boy. Oh, not that one, no. Other one. <laughs> Accidentally catching a different Pokemon. Oops. Oh, they're all... Come on, surely that was a big boy. No? Hmm... I thought it was. Are you okay? Catch them all, yes. All the weasels. I feel like it's a waste of Pokeballs though. No. <laughs> ah, you're drowning. <laughs> Can we jump over? If that's what I wanted to do. I just messed up. No, no, no. <laughs> You love that the tall grass in the game was reversed and now the trainers hide in it. Yeah. It's great. Um. There you go. Okay. This is its evolution. Floatzel. It's a very big one, I think, though, as well. Wasn't me. Yeah, it's an alpha, alpha float soul. Oh, I can't catch him because he's angry. Or she's angry, apparently. Level 31. Blackout and Fault, you might lose some items. However, place from all over the world can find your lost items and send them to you via the internet. The system is called Lost and Found. If you find a satchel that someone else has lost, be sure to pick it up. The satchel you retrieve will be returned to its owner and you can receive merit points as a reward. Which can be. Oh, that's how it works. I see. Ninety-two merit points. Okay. So my internet connection is off. Which probably means that no one can actually find my satchel, right? Um please. 
Uh, should I fight this thing? I called it unawares. However, I don't know if that's gonna be good enough. It might be. I think... I think we've got it. Yes! Get in the ball. Do alphas get, gain extra stats when they're caught? I'm not sure. They probably have high IVs. Or something like that. At least. Time for him to get lost in life. Oh, poor thing. Okay, nice. Oh, what's in there? For me. It's always burn me. Get out of here, burn me. Don't have space space in your satchel. Why does this keep happening? Okay. Who are we going to use the XP candy on? Do we use it on one of the party members? Or do we save it for something else? I might use it on Ponyta actually. Just to get Ponyta up there. Ponyta, yes. Nice. Okay. Um, I haven't gotten any regional variants, no, not yet. But we are still relatively early game. I've just been getting distracted with a lot of stuff. Because I want to catch everything, do side quests and things. Nice. 
Wait, did it just... No, I thought it was hiding in the... <laughs> I thought it started hiding in the grass for a second. some Pokemon. Oh my god, look at all the fucking Weasels. Oh my god. <laughs> Just... Do you like Weasel guys? Do we like Weasel? Uh... Weasel army, yes. Um... Let's get Geodude in there. Oh jeez. Oh this 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 one though. Chunky. Awesome. Um Okay, I want to check two four to five, to four, to seven, to seven. Oh no. To seven. Why? <laughs> They're all to seven. Mm. Yeah, to nine was a Psyduck. I mean, I guess we go back to the mass outbreak, right? Also... Uh, Oh my god, Pichu! Oh! It was a distraction. Definitely planned. Definitely planned. No, not that one. This one. I don't want to fight you with Luxio, actually. Get wrecked. Let's remember that when you feel scared or threatened, never forget him when you feel happy. When day is dark, always remember Happy day. Thank you, Sunburn. Oh my. Sir? Sir? Huh. It's not a dragon though, age. 
It it is water flying, but it I didn't. It's flying, yes, but it's still weird to see them actually fly. <laughs> Uh, wait, don't I? Oh no, I don't have my air balls. They're in the... They're in the storage, I think. Oh. I was gonna try to see if I could manage to get it from this far away, but I don't think I can. At least not with the regular ones. Uh, okay. If you go this way. Yong. Then we'll find the weasels again. Because we've, ha we've got a goal. We've got a goal and we need to... We need to find the weasel. Of all the weasels. The biggest of them all. Hmm. Why does he want a big chungus weasel anyway? I don't know. He just wants to know for sure that there's a weasel that's bigger than his. It's it's a comparison issue, you know? He, do he doesn't believe that any anything can be bigger than his weasel, so... <laughs> oh. Such a stupid... Okay. Right in the face. Oh, it wasn't. Mm. Can't you catch them until one that's big enough appears? Not quite. I don't think, maybe. But... I mean, I can, it's just, it takes so long. <laughs> all the weasels are mine. They're all mine. Oh, that was a big one, okay. But again, is it big enough? Probably not. Can we jump this? <laughs> okay. It's 2 7. How do you know? Train to arch time. Buizo catcher, yes. Oh my god, that Bidoof. It's too strong. It's too strong, guys. Oh! How dare. Is that a Mm, it's so hard to tell sometimes if they're big or just perspective. We're going getting up to that 25 card. Now I don't think it matters. I don't think it can breed, maybe, but I don't know. 
Breeding might be a thing. Get hidden face. Yeah. I like that they're all like, what the fuck happened? Where'd he go? Bam. Bam. <laughs> Imagine seeing that happen. <laughs> Just like, what the fuck? Where did my friends go? <laughs> Just left all alone. Very sad. Mom, dad, oh no. Okay, we're gonna go back to camp. I need to... We're gonna actually make... Um, a, a one pasture with all the weasels in it. <laughs> Look at this. Can we actually move them like this? No, okay. So we'd have to do like that. <laughs> the Buizel army. There you go. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. And I still have one in my party as well. Okay, then also visit the pasture in town and see 30 blue weasels chilling. Maybe. I don't know. Um. Okay, let's look at the summaries then. Two six, two four, two seven, seven, da, 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 five. Oh my god, this is a small boy. Two two feet exactly. Yeah, two seven is the biggest. Two seven is the biggest. What should be a troll quest? <laughs> no, I don't. I think it's definitely possible. A largest team weasel. Um. Not large enough. I I mean I checked that. Two two. It's one of the smaller ones. No. I love this. Bonita. I wish you could actually throw the Pokeballs from atop the mount just while riding. <laughs> that would be amazing. Okay, where are 
buoy right now. Okay, yeah. Over there is the weasels. Damn it, messed up. No, gotta catch him all, but it's just the weasel. I think. Hmm. Is that one? A... No, not that one. This one. No. Oh. <laughs> this one exactly. What are you gonna do about it, huh? What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, you're small boys. to tell like sometimes they look like they might be big but then they're not it's... oh he got out they got out what was it was the girl it might have been a girl actually Weasels. Okay, come on. Get up there. Get up there. No. <laughs> Such a cool god can't swim, yeah. It's very sad. I think it does have something to do with like Pokemon in the water or something. So. Hmm. That's 25, I think. 24. It's going pretty well, Vic. I'm just trying to catch... I've been trying to complete a certain quest for a while and I just can't seem to find a big weasel. It's silly, really. <laughs> I'm just catching the weasel. Just the weasel. Almost caught twenty five of them. Okay, we're going this way. Imagine catching the weasel once, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
you just throw it at him. That's how it works. Same with balls of mud. not working. I wonder why. One then. So yeah, that's that's what you do with them. <laughs> what are you going to do with all the poor weasels? Probably release them back into the wild eventually. Eat them? No, I don't want to eat them. Yeah, we do have this mount now, which makes everything so much easier. Or at least faster. Fast is good. Actually, who mm. incidentally his favorite fruit is weasel. Hi, Summit. How are you doing? Uh, ooh, is that a? Okay, that one isn't big, but that one might be. Oh, he turned around. Still caught? Nope, not there. show you the box of the weasels in a second. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the weasels just watched me drown. They were just standing there. Well, I know how to swim, or at least I think I do. Maybe I don't know how to swim. I think it's the magic arps, yes. Magic arps pulling me under. Okay, well, I caught all the weasels. So you remember how there was a mass out outbreak? It still says in the top left corner here. They're all gone. I caught them all. I stopped an entire outbreak of weasels single-handedly. <laughs> 
They're gone. All of them are gone. I don't know if there's Kavana in this. I want you to, to stand next to each other for just a moment. I just want to compare. Can you stand next to each other? No? Oh. Touching them hurts, apparently. I don't think they're much difference in size, are they? No. Okay, can I return to camp even? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. This is truly the Dark Souls of Pokemon games. It is. It is. I think we can jump that. Do you believe? I believe. Ooh. Oh my god. gonna sneaky breaky because I want to catch these oh damn it it's like what the fuck was that I wonder what that was ha. oh damn it well wait how did you even I'm not here. What do you mean? Oh, it's looking in the wrong grass patch. Oh my god, you didn't get caught either. Um. Please, no? Oh my god. Um. Can you not? I'm more to ask. It's going pretty well. We've been trying to find a, a big weasel, um, but having no luck. The guy for the quest is very specific on wanting a, a weasel that's 2-8 or more. And the largest we've caught is 2-7. It's quite annoying. <laughs> Found some. Yes, yes. It's the inverse of the Pokemon, other Pokemon games. We're just in the tall grass, murdering the unaware Pokemons, or catching them while well, they're not looking. So once this one turns away, like that, we're just like. Well, or we miss, that's also possible. Oh, this bastard. Stop moving around. Stick. Uh, mm, mm. <laughs> I'm not here. I'm not here at all. I'm. Come on.
It's just a friendly hat, exactly. One. Oh, damn it. Why are they so hard to catch? Maybe I need to use the heavy balls, but that also means having to get closer. Stop looking at me. Damn it. I, th I thought I could do it. I thought I could do it. I was wrong. Fine, I guess we fight. Okay, well, I, I thought you could survive that. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. Oh, well. Oh, is that not? Oh, oh, that's an iron trunk. I don't have space. Wait, is that combi? It is. Combi. Oh. Nice. Fruit in the trees, yeah. So it's, it's berries usually. Or apricorns. I don't have space though. The lepo berries. Uh, I need to get more backspace again. We are in Bergland, yes. Berglandia. Rolling creates a lot of noise, or so you've read. Yeah, okay. I thought it was going to be more sneaky than that, but I guess not. Okay. We're just going to sneak into this grass patch and then sneak around. Boom. <laughs> And then this one as well. Oh, missed. Okay. Your roll is more of a belly flop with a lot of flailing. Uh, yeah, I probably can't do this either. Oh my god. Look at the boy. Oof. What a chonker. Can we, can we catch it without going into a fight? Actually, what level is this thing? 45, we can't catch it, just, okay. Can we, can we beat a level 45? <laughs> I have my doubts. Um. Ponyta, what the fuck was that? Come <laughs> on, why did you not? No. There cross, please. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, flame wheel. Not bad. Come on, Ponyta. Oh no. It's too fast. It's too fast. Um, it's the Ravia. Aerial Ace. Sprung out. Get him. Seed of Mastery. Uh, I need... I guess I can get rid of, like, this raspberry or something. Discard it. Seed of Mastery is more important. Um, 
there's some nana bear oh no dazzling honey i can actually pick that up um uh, that's good poor ponita though Um, that would also be in the Discord, the the Pokemon list, because otherwise it gets a bit much. Uh, you can see how many you have, which is Poke Count, like that. Citrus berries. Two whole Pokemon, nice. Flick with his thousand twenty nine. Oh, my God. That's a lot of Pokemon. Uh, you know what? Get get rid of the ox power. I don't use it. Citrus berries. OK. So once we get back to town, I really need to Make sure I get more bag space because this is really annoying. Oh, there's a dust tox. I still want to moth him though. Let's try to get a moth him. Wait, dust tox, are you sleeping? It's sleeping. Let's surprise it. Nice. And then this guy. Bam. Hi. Bye bye. Run away. <laughs> Run away! On my mighty steed! Queen and then it's beheaded and turns into Nido head on the spike. What? What? <laughs> How does that happen? Why is it beheaded? Oh no. Oh. That, that hit harder than I thought, actually. I was like, oh, it's not gonna kill it, right? No, it is, apparently. Oh, the French Revolution joke. Oh, okay, I, I see. I get it. I, I was like, why would Nino Queen be beheaded? <laughs> Thank you for the quote, Vic. When does the weasel evolve? Is it like 28 or something? I think it was pretty late, but I don't remember. Sandler. I was wondering what that sound was. It's a Stantler. Oh. You don't move. There you go. Nice. Yeah, it's it's weirder. The evolution of Stantler.
Oh my god. Monferno just... Okay. I was turned around. Damn it. Why did you have to turn around? Sandler doesn't evolve non canon game. It does. In this in this region. Um I just want to... Yeah, okay. Let's save the game. So I don't know what Monferno is doing here, to be honest. Oh, I'm not very good at aiming with the controller either. But it, it gives you enough time to do so, so it's it's not too bad. Plus if you do this, the this focus thing. So if I if I go like this, right? It just instantly locks on. You just have to worry about it if it's too far away for the normal focusing mechanic like this. Then you have to aim slightly up to make sure that the trajectory of the ball is right um but that's not as long as you just get close enough to catch them properly it's fine it's actually very lenient in that way um so if i he's calling out for his friend well we caught his friend so he can join him we can catch him as well. You know? <laughs> that guy, he got lucky. He got lucky there. If he had died, I would have been like, well, I guess he's not joining his friend. But now he is. First spell to his friends. Yeah. Okay, can we get up here? We can. Wait, can we? Okay. So there's a standler up here. That is very big. Very big. See if I can. So these heavy balls have a shorter range. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> okay, they have a shorter range, but they have a higher catch rate. So they're actually heavy. You know, it's uh, it's not like in the other games where they're used for like heavy Pokemon. They just have a better catch rate. They're actually just heavy. <laughs> Why does this one have the evil eye? That means it's an alpha. Which means there's stronger versions of the regular Pokemon. Uh oh. And he's gonna fight me. Level 42. That's fine. It's not the new shiny, it's, it's in addition to 
shiny. Uh, they're just bigger, the stronger. They're not. They're, they're just. I don't know. Special, in a, in a sense. Okay, G, dude. So you can get shiny alphas. I imagine so. Yes. Okay, you dude, I believe. I believe in you. Oh no. Okay. I forgot that it's also psychic in that. Um, or that it has psychic stuff sometimes. Uh, okay, well, this is problematic. Okay. Nice, Luxio, nice. I believe. In the dream. Oh my god. It's gonna take forever. Or not. Or Luxio can just die. Okay, we're running out of Pokemon here. Might be a problem. Okay, if I look at this... Okay, St Sandler is gonna move twice. After the what? So if I look here... So you can see that... Um, it has Wild Might. That's what the Alphas have. So the stats are boosted. Pokemon also takes reduced damage from status conditions. And uh, move effects such as poisoning and splinters. I don't know what splinters is, but. Um... That's not a great quote to come out right now, Fig. <laughs> um. hit them with the wood they might get splinters true oh jeez i think we're gonna have to bye <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> I'm off. Run away. Um. Okay, yeah, it's over there. Meow. Oh, I didn't have space for the other thing. No! Ow. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can do it. There you go. Do the alphas respond? They do, yes. At least most of the ones I've seen did. Um. Let's see, so we've got... Do do um... uh, 
I think this is fine. We've got some more space now. Need to get breakfast? Nice. Enjoy breakfast. Uh, okay, right. I did want to check the weasel box. <laughs> Boweasel box. Oh my god. <laughs> Boweasel box. Uh, two, one, two, four. Yeah, they've all been terrible. Two, eight is what I want. And they're just not there. Nope. Hmm. Stupid weasels. Um. I just need three more. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I I just need one. That is. Chunk. Just big boy. Oh, Ebra. Oh, damn it. Every time. Okay, there's buoys all over there, but it's not very big. Those don't seem that big either. I might as well. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, m maybe not. Maybe not then. Reaper weasels in a raincoat, yeah. And then be like, oh, this, look at this weasel, it's so big. And he's like, oh my god. It's like the biggest weasel I've ever seen. And I'm like, yeah. Can't we just give him the float soul? The evolution that was like massive. And be like, this is a weasel. He might believe us. These guys don't know Pokemon that well, right? Thank you for the hydrate lay. Uh, like this guy, see? If you tell them that's a weasel, won't they believe you? I oh, thank you for the posture check as well. Did you make a monster of Weaselstein with all the weasels you found? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let me let me check if I can do, do a sneak. Oh no, I can't. I can't catch it. Yeah, that's a small weasel. Uh, um, hi. <laughs> Ow. Okay, it tracked me. Run away. <laughs> no, run away. Run. Ow. You'll take the world by storm with your mighty armory of the weasels. Maybe, yeah. think that since it was a pretty early quest it's, it's 
level four. It wouldn't be so difficult, but I caught 28 we weasels. 28. And I don't have a single one that's what he wants. Maybe if you knew your own height, you would have an easier time comparing heights. Do I actually know my own height? Uh, no, it doesn't say on the trainer card. If only. Even still, it would be hard for me to compare. Like we're, we're looking for one that's like three feet. That's basically what we're looking for. That's what I want, like a three foot one. At this point, you're gonna close the shiny raids. Uh, not quite, but we might get a shiny buizel before we get a big buizel, which is say saying a lot. Um. So Cherim, we haven't actually seen yet. The Vukeshi doll we can make, actually. So we could go to t back to town and make that. Hmm. The shiny Buizel is 2.8 and then you have to give it away. Oh no, that would be the worst. It's like, ah, oh, it's, it's shiny and it's... Wait, it's also the right size for the quest. Fuck. <laughs> it's like... Then you have to decide. Do I... Do I keep it because it's shiny or do I give it away? Because you don't have to give it away. Back here, there's some buizels. They don't look that big to me. Can I can I compare? Yeah, you don't look that big. Same with you. If I find one that's almost the size of me. Then I'm like, yeah, that's that's big weasel. Did ever just teleport away again? I guess he did. Fuck. Damn it, Abra. Um. Oh right, I forgot you were here. Fight me. Oh, the Buizel joined the battle. Okay. That's okay. Nice. Okay, the roost go. Weasel, get out of here. No. Nice. Okay, the weasel, you were very brave in attacking Luxio like this. But, um. Yeah.
You weren't exactly strong enough to survive it, so... Nom. Just numb on it a little bit. And then we use a potion. You've got slash instead of tackle. So yeah, this is so nice to just be able to change them. You can change it back as well. Thunder wave can be useful. Um, instead of thunder shock, actually, just to be able to paralyze them. What do you have? Roost. Uh, could be useful, but nah. We don't have a fifth move. Rock slide. Um, instead of tackle, I think. And weasel. Don't have anything. Okay. But yeah, not having to choose, like, um, moves forever, right, without, or only being able to change them by finding TMs or something like that, again. It's nice to just be able to have them know the moves, but only be able to use four at a time. Rather than just not knowing the moves at all anymore. Finally! We did it! Stupid Abras. Abra has been avoiding me this entire time. I mean, it's what they do, but still. <laughs> On Krikachoon. Please no, I don't want to fight you again. Yeah, they're like that in every Pokemon game. There's the, the barrel. The chonker. Nope. I'm not here. I'm not here, Bavaro. Just turn around. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why that always... No, don't... Sometimes when I say that, they just turn around instantly. It's very strange. Just like they're listening to me. Right on the butt. It didn't work though. <laughs> it's very confused, even though I'm right here. It probably should be able to see me, but it doesn't. Backstrike. <laughs> Come on. All this rain. Come on. Can we 
get close enough for this. Barrel just stay there. Oh. No! Oh. <laughs> Did it. Okay. Um, let's use these on you. One on you and one on Ponyta. Hypnosis. Oh. Uh, you can get that instead of tackle, sure. Hi, Psyduck. <laughs> okay, Judith versus Luxio is not the best, but I'm sure Luxio will be fine. Zubat, Boneri, Cascoon. Can we get that one? Up there? We can. Oh, what is this? Stardust? Um. I don't know how the effort levels work in this. Like it says it raises it by one, but it's not the EV value. Or at least it doesn't seem to be. Like you can see the numbers there. Um, the three in HP and two in attack. I don't know, is that just the, like the actual stat boosts that you gain from the EV values? Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, this looks here is so good. 114 attack. What a boy. What a what a good boy. Oh my god, look at this nice ponytail though. 69 special attack, special defense, and defense. That's nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's just nice. Oh. H how did they have so many at 69? Okay, are we ready for this? I don't know if I am. It's your wedding an anniversary, 69? Nice. That's a good wedding anniversary to have. So you say that Galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy? We did! Um, I t <laughs> this plan is so stupid. What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls so that you can throw offerings at him? Yes. Yes, that's the plan. It's a stupid plan. It's a really stupid plan. Well, that's quite an orthodox approach. Yes. Yes, it is. You Your inventiveness just blows me away. In, in what way? A good way or a bad way? Because for me, it was mostly a bad way. Um... The professor thought long and hard about this, about being like, how can we give offerings to this thing when it's rampaging? Because we can't get close to the offering box. And instead of, you know, sneaking in while he's trying to be sneaky about it while he's rampaging, you know, maybe luring him away or something like that, and then placing the offerings, no, no. We're going to make the offerings into balls and then throw them at the thing while it's rampaging. That's a smart play right there. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I don't think it's a safe distance though. Throwing, throwing a ball at something that's rampaging is not easy unless you get somewhat close. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. <laughs> Hold on, Ian. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them, as promised. Ah, that's right. My apologies, Irida. I had forgotten all about you. Wow. I admit. As we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These Galaxy team people don't share our customs or values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokémon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokémon you've caught in your little Pokéballs, but on my side I have a Pokémon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glacian and me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. We battle us. Yes. Then allow Glacian's true strength to chill you to your deaths. Deaths. Nice. Glacian is great. Let me just, um... Thunder Wave. Move twice. Okay then. It's a fast boy. A girl, I guess, in this case. And okay, point out. How did it move twice while paralyzed as well? That's burning. So that replaced the paralyzation, right? Yes, it did. Okay. Bam. Good job, Ponyta. I 
I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. Now explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So, because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together, ball them up and try to quell his fancy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've developed soothing balms of sorts to calm our lord. I wouldn't say soothing balms. It's not quite the same as throwing balls of food at someone. It's not really a soothing balm, I would say. Very well. If it, it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, you, let's make these bombs with our very heart and souls. Hearts and souls. There. A veritable mountain of bombs. This should please Cleaver, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Am I ready? I, I'm ready. Let's see this, guys. Let's battle this cleaver. As am I. Wait, didn't they say they could, couldn't could get close to the thing to give him the offering? But that's... It's right there. We're standing right next to it, right? Um, am I misunderstanding? <laughs> Is it... That's the thing they said they couldn't get to. I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> A mighty cleaver, lord of the woods. Though it isn't time yet... Though it isn't time... Oh, I... <laughs> Don't question lord of the woods. No, I won't. Though it isn't yet ti the time of ceremony. We've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Marty. Keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Oh, this is gonna be Dark Souls. Dark Souls fight, guys. Are you ready? There it is. So yeah, this is safe, right? This is safe. Very safe. This is much safer than trying to sneak and give him an offering a different way, right? From a safe distance. You have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective, so throw as many as you can. Okay. Okay, I dodged the wrong way. Ow. Is this a Pokemon with axes for a <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Get in. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh.
Oh wait, I oh I had to okay. Okay. Oh splinter dead splinters, okay. From stealth rock, I didn't think that was Splinters, fine. Look, she's going down. Yeah, don't leave Dragon on this, please. It's just a very angry boy that has access. Okay, well, I tried. Very silly. <laughs> okay. It seems to be back to normal. Are you not gonna murder me now? Insect plate, okay. Thanks. Um, but I, I mean, if you're gonna be like Pokemon with access for arms, you had Scyther already who had like swords for arms, right? It's not really that strange. Scythe for arms, yeah. What what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came out uh, came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinner really does dwell beyond the space-time rift, then the strange lightning... It indeed was Almighty Sinner's power. Then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing, like some... Some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokémon that might harm us. Would powers sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokémon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Marnie accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife. Um, with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokémon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Mm, yes, I, f I fine. I suppose I must confer concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. 
Please take these on behalf of our of the Crow Clan. Considering it, consider it a, my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and a token of my thanks. Honestly, it looks like it could be part of the evolutionary line of Scyther somehow. Cleavor. Let me care for your Pokemon as well, in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. I think I've finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still cannot imagine the reasons that play. And it seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fiercely strong after all. Jeez, Leon. He nearly murdered me. He nearly murdered me and he was like, oh, that was, that was great. I want to see it again. <laughs> Is there anything around here? A mushroom. I don't think there is. Oops. Oh, shaking tree. What's in the tree? Combi. Try not to kill it, Luxio. Okay. No, Combi, please. I don't want to hurt you. Cascoon. Oh my god, that's a giant Boneri. Look at that Boneri. Why are you in the tree? <laughs> Why are you in the tree? Get out of that tree, Boneri. Oh no, don't kill it! No! Why did you kill it? Damn it. Critical hit. Critical hit. Okay. 
What is that? Oh, it's a Baneri. I was like, what is that? Underwater. Apparently Baneris don't need to breathe underwater. Thirty-three Pokemon. Mostly Beweasel. <laughs> Mostly Beweasel. Oh my god. Lots of money. Let's see. Badoof. Weasel. Oh my god, we've got so many. Pikachu, we've done the what? Apparently. Okay, we can get the third star. Hmm? You quelled Lord Cleaver, you say? Oh, well done and bravo, my girl. Time to head back to the village and report to Commander Canado, right? I think. I should have read it. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be... Ah, those are two of the fabled plates of old. Please, let me have a look. I see, there are some letters carved into them. Let's see, this one says... Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. Seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? I see, so you were given the plates when you impressed Weirdir and Cleaver. That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across Isui. If you were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, you may uncover something. Absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past, oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. He's very excited about it. Oh my god, we have so much money. So much money. What do we even do with all this money? Okay, uh, well let's make this, because that's what he wants. Hmm? What's this? Why, that's a Pokeshi doll, if I ever saw one. Please, let me have a closer look. Uh, amazing! Just look how smoothly you've carved these curves. Your attention car attentive carving shows you put love and care into your handiwork. And these colors, you've definitely given it a vivid look, that's for sure. 
Yes, these hues must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. Not to mention, this Pokeshi doll is perfectly balanced. At a glance, you'd think it's sure to fall over, and yet it stubbornly remains upright. Whew. Thank you. I savored your Pokeshi doll to my heart's content. We use the same recipe, and yet your Pokeshi doll has a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you a Pokeshi doll I made. I took great care in crafting it, so have a look and see how it differs from the one you made. Uh. Okay. They look the same to me. They look the same to me. I'm gonna sell them both. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he minds that I just sold his carve carvings? <laughs> but then he created. Look, it, sometimes money is more important than material goods. Because if we have money, we can get more space in our inventory, which is very important. Two thousand, okay. What's the next one? Twenty-five hundred, okay. How much? How much now? 3,000. Four thousand. Ooh, okay, it's getting it's getting up there. But this should be decent, right? Eight slots left. Yota, a fellow from the village, claims to have seen a rather strange ponyta. You must investigate this matter for the good of science. Ooh. A strange ponyta, you say? Our investigation for the commander will grind to a halt if you become incapacitated. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be incapacitated, so I'll avoid that. Or try to. Hmm. You've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Boom. Third star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of third star in the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use Great Balls. Up to level 40, we'll obtain... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Your rewards are more generous. Have this as well. How do we craft great balls? Apricorn, iron chunk, and double stone. Okay, so it's the iron chunks. We can make those. Continue to dedicate yourself to complete the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Yes, I will. I will. Now up to level 40, Pokemon will obey me. a lot of iron chunks but since we need them for the great balls i'm definitely gonna get a lot more of those also need to farm more apricorns actually apricorns apricorns whatever 
I saw something out in the wild. It, oh, it was incredible. What was it? The thing I saw was a will-o'-wisp. Will-o'-the-wisp. A ball of bright red fire. When I was walking on wind's wet run the other night, it leapt at me with like a... Like, woo. <laughs> okay. You okay there? At it again with this story, huh? Don't listen to her, ma'am. My big sis always gets carried away with the fairy tales. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm not making it up. I saw that Will of the Wisps with my own two eyes. Oh yeah? Then why don't you show it to me? <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, it's so frustrating you won't believe me. I honestly did see one. Say, you're with the Survey Corps, right? And I hear you're quite the prodigy. I bet you could easily catch a Will of the Wisp. Do you think you could catch the one I saw and bring it back here? I don't think a Will of the Wisp is a Pokemon though. Uh, does it? Oh my god, just look at the weasels. Oh my god, this chonker. Holy shit. The chonker. Just compared to everything else. Hi, Kurdule. Welcome. Good morning. So it is afternoon for me right now, but... Oh, oh my god, this, this bit barrel, it's so good. Such a big boy. Can we actually change what is shown in the pastures or something? Or is that... Oh my god, just... Ah, <laughs> oh, so good. The weasels. Weasel army. Can we just be like, I just want to see these, this pasture. Pasture two is what I want to see. I just want to see all the weasels. Oh, I changed the ones that are shown. There's Pichu. So I guess it randomize which, randomizes which ones are shown. Whenever you come into town or do something. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, and you're over there. Okay. I'm kind of sad we can't call Weirder here. That would be great. But I can understand why it won't come here. <laughs> it's kind of a busy village. You hear about my ponies at request, right? Glad to have some help at last. Here's the problem. A ponytail like no one's ever seen before has appeared in the Horseshoe Plains. It looks so different than the other ponytail, it's a little scary to be honest. But when I told the professor, he got all excited about researching it, so he agreed to have the ponytail surveyed and see what's what. If we'd head to the Horseshoe Plains and catch that strange ponytail to us, for us, it really helped us out. I can do that, I think. Should be easy enough. Oh, nice. Spritzy beating a level 22 Min Fu as well. Five levels higher than itself. Very strong. Okay. Let's see. Um, it's over there. Yay. It is raining. I'm sure the ponytail doesn't like that, but we'll see. Okay, 
what's going on here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Give it to me. It is a shiny, yes. But I guess this is just for the quest, so this is a shiny everyone can get, maybe. Hi trolls, welcome back. Come on. Bam. Nice. Okay, and then the other quest was for the Will o' the Wisp, whatever that means. Is that a shiny? It was a shiny, yes. You thought it was the Alerta region one. No, the Alerta region would be, I mean, would have been great as well. I was thinking it might be that one too, but no. It makes sense that it's not here. Because <laughs> this is Hisui, not Alola. Alola is like millions of mi millions of miles away, yes. No. Um like very far away. I don't know how how far exactly, but The only way an Alolan Polita would show up here is if someone else brought it here and released it or something. But why would they do that? Okay, where is this Will o' the Wisp? Oh, oh no, is that... Chimchar, what are you doing up in the tree? <laughs> it was very co cozy at the cat cafe. cat cafe. Nice. That's good. Okay, I'm very afraid of killing this thing. Try to do as little damage as we can. Okay, that was actually less than I even thought we would do. What about flame wheel then? Thank you for the house draws. They're a nightmare ponyta. Um, not, not really. I don't know what that would mean. You mean because there's Rapidash as the evolution, but there's not like a. Oh my God! There's a gold bat. I haven't seen Golbeth before. Do you not want the honey cake? No? Zubat wants the honey cake though. No. <laughs> Golbeth. Yeah, but there's not, not one of those. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to use the great ball. Why did I do that? I'm a dumb. I 
Get him, Luxio. Nice. While you're at it, also use Thunder Wave. Get a Paralyze. And then we should be able to catch it. I was gonna use a Great Ball, but since I already wasted one of them, I'm just gonna use a Pokeball. Nice. Getting some apricorns. There's a Burmy. It's basically dead. Too far away. Come on. Nice. Still killed it, though. Arabia should be able to deal with it. Um, okay. Does this work? Nice, it does. So we don't need to use a revive. Here's very nice and cozy. Thank you, Trolls. I'm glad. But then there's the streamer. Wow. Wow. How dare. Thank you, Sunburn. <laughs> oh right, the Standler, I remember. Can we... I want to try to catch it. I really do. No. Standler. Turn around. Why does that always work? Or it always seems to. <laughs> it always seems to work. Thank you for the clock, Sunburn. Oh no. Standler? No. Turn around. Oh, he didn't do it this time. He's learning. Oh no, don't come towards me. I've got Pokeballs. I'm not afraid to use them. 
I don't know if I can catch it because it's level 42. It's not really working, is it? So because I have three stars, Pokemon up to level 40 will obey me. This is level 42. It does say I can catch it though. It doesn't say I can't. It's just very difficult. No. No. <laughs> Sandler. Okay. Bam. Damn it. That was my last great ball. Um, it saw me. Run. <laughs> Run away. Abort. Abort mission. Oh, there's a tunnel there? Wait, I want to go in that tunnel. Where's this tunnel? Liz, remember <laughs> that when you feel scared or fidget, never forget Tim's when you feel happy. When day is dark, always remember happy day. <laughs> Thank you. How... How do I get to that tunnel? It is me, yes. It is me. Oh no, Magikarp! Magikarp! Please save me! Magikarp! Okay, Magikarp didn't save me, guys. I can't believe. Okay, I want to... Oh no, no! <laughs> I missed! I missed! Uh... My space person can't even swim, yeah. It's pretty bad, isn't it? Oh god, oh. Okay, because I want to catch the magic card. Nice. Okay, magic card. Magic card, stay. Not the back, but that's okay. Nice. Get the magic arms. Magic arm. I've got a ball. I'm not afraid to use it. Are you are you gonna move? Are you just gonna look at me? Fine. Nice. Okay, so now the problem is <laughs> we can't really get off this. Um but that's okay. We can just fast travel. Um,
Okay, we want the iron chunks. Craft another four. Okay. Um, make a couple more potions and some more regular Pokeballs. Move those. Move that. Okay. And then I think we get back to the village. Oh my god, look at that shiny. Shiny. Do, do, do. So shiny. Times you've given it food, number defeated, heavy specimens. Okay. Hear me. Look at magic. Oh, you can't even. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see Magic Orb's face actually. Look at that face. You can feed all the Pokemon, you can just throw some berries and stuff. And they'll eat it. A face only mother could love? Wow. Wow. Look at that. Times you've seen it use Splash. Goes up to a hundred. A hundred. I need to defeat 40 of them as well. Jeez. Uh, investigated the mushroom growing on Parasect. Okay. Oh no, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Return to a village. Because we've got quests to complete to hand in. Like this one. Have you come to show me the will of the wisp you saw? I saw, rather. Uh, yeah, it was, it was this guy. Pokemon? But I'm certain what I saw was a will of the wisp you know? Hmm? I should look at this Pokemon at night? Uh, okay, if you say so. What? So we need to... It still sounds as if there's a... Was a train passing by outside your window? What?
In the loading screen, there's something flapping about bottom right corner. It looks as if it's your hair going wild. Well, it is actually the hair of the trainer. It, it the, the loading screen on the bottom right is the image of the trainer running. It's like the hair going up and down. Things up with your early life hair, nice. Strong wind started to blow yesterday evening. Oh, it's a wind. Nice. Well, not nice actually, but... Oh, right. I actually went past the guy because I was distracted. Wait. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Uh... Over there? Wait. I guess a tree fell over somewhere for the internet problems. Yeah, probably something like that. Uh, okay. I see you've got that strange ponytail. You survey core folks sure don't mess around. You know, a friend of mine from Galar was surprised when he saw the ponytail herds out in the Vildans. He couldn't wrap his head around the fiery manes. At the time, I thought it was an odd thing to be amazed by, but now that I know some ponytail have blue flames, it's not such a stretch to think there might be all sorts of them out there. But the Galarian ponytail, right. It's not the... Um, it's not Alolan. I'm... I was confused. His uh, troll said... Alola, right? But it's the Galarian one that has the fairy type. And I'm not just talking about that Ponyta, mind. Who knows how many differently colored Pokemon there are in the world. I hope the Survey Corps keeps trying its level, uh, its level best to reach the Jamal. Yeah, I messed it up myself as well. I could have remembered then and there, but I was like, oh yeah, Lowland Ponyta, right? No, <laughs> it's the Galarian one. Alright, let's actually continue the main quest a bit. You stopped playing Pokemon at its peak, silver slash gold. I mean, not a bad place to stop, really, but I still enjoy them very much. Hmm, well done. I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Hisui's people. You are a stranger to us, who, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the Galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. But things are not settled yet. I have received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies everywhere. Elsewhere. In Hizui. So carry on with your research and survey duties and pr prove that you are truly an asset to us. That is all. You are dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps member members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. Is it Potato Mochi again? Yep. <laughs> Bunny old chum, the usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here, you know? She's got quite some luck to have come back unarmed after feasting off against that cleaver. I dare say Marley was well prepared, and she was a quick study of how cleaver moved in battle from what I heard. All in all, it was a very good show, a victory well earned. Going to work in the Fieldlands should feel a lot safer now, thanks to you, Marnie. And if you want to feel even safer, try making some of these. Benny taught me how to make them. So I wrote out his directions in a re into a recipe. Smoke bombs? Smoke bomb. I could be a ninja now, guys. Lovely, and now that we need not worry about being mobbed by the cleaver either, 
Let's take a chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Fieldlands their home. Marty. I've been waiting for you, Marty. My name's Vesa. There's something really important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Uh, sure. Totally not creepy to do that in the evening like this, but... Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. Hisui is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think that, think what might happen at this rate. So please, Marty, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. So, how do you know this exactly? As you don't seem that old to know about the history of the land and everything. I don't believe you. <laughs> Just tell me what to do. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Oh, odd keystone, huh? A mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that glow with an eerie purple light. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across Hisui. 107 of them in total. Okay, I'm not sure why such a specific number, but fine. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the old odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See the flame hovering over there? Try touching it. So, you gave me the odd keystone, so how can you still see it? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Um. <laughs> I don't know if I trust that girl, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, she's just like behind me now. Not creepy at all. The wisp has been absorbed into the old keystone just as it would it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. I'll wait here for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. Well, maybe age. Maybe she could have remembered where it was and just points in a vague direction, but it's still creepy. Just this girl being like... Um, you know that there was this ancient thing hundreds of years ago that was sealed, but the seal was broken and I needed to collect these wisps for me with this odd keystone that I have and the girl is like, what, eight or something? If even that, maybe ten? Maybe ten-ish? Who knows? I guess it fits Pokelore kids of all the info and elderly are clueless. Fair, yeah. <clears throat> wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh, hey, you're Marley, the girl who quelled Cleaver, aren't you? That's me. That's me. I knew it. You've got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm Marazu, by the way. 
I am a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Okay, that's interesting special skill to have, but sure. Oh, Snip. <laughs> but I came here to talk to you. You're Mr. Kamado. See you around. Oh, Snip. <laughs> Why? Uh... They just had to. They had to do it. Like they didn't... It, it really was like... We have to tell people that she, she cuts hair and then make her say, oh snip. Oh, sweet ponytails in a pun, I just remembered. Oh no. What pizza am I getting today? I don't know, trolls. Um, it depends what uh, my mom puts on it. Because it's. Um, I mean, usually we have one with uh, salami and some other stuff on it. And then uh, cheese. Just plain cheese. It's a nice buizel pizza. <laughs> no, not buizel pizza. I've seen too many buizels already. Yeah. Hmm. So it's come to Ursa Luna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. I've received no word from Adam and Rita, but this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Miss Arezu. You did well to inform us of Ursaluna's situation. No problem. Adamant's got his hands full running our clan and all, and Ursaluna's warden couldn't, wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the galaxy team are the only ones I could turn to about this. Ursaluna's warden is Mistress Kalaba of the Pro Clan, is it not? Of all the wardens, she's the most narrow minded. <clears throat> Bound by tradition. She likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. I have a new mission for you, Marnie. I order you to study Ursaluna in the Crimson Mirelands. I permit you, permit you to show your strength if necessary. Uh, okay. Thanks. The next area you will be sent to investigate is the Crimson Mirelands. You'll find the Pokémon living there to be more fearsome than those in Obsidian Fieldlands. Even the landscape itself is harsher, with steep ravines and seaside cliffs. It is not welcoming. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mirelands on your own. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Mirelands, known as the Salation Ruins. This is where you'll find Ursaluna's Warden. Salation Ruins... Uh, what a massive mushroom! <laughs> Merle the Mushroom Hunter is curious about the mushroom growing on Parasect's back. Please assist him in investigating. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What a massive mushroom. Wouldn't you rather I had more wares for you to choose from? It'd be nice. Then it would. Unfortunately, Tao Hua refuses to provide me with any new goods to offer. He won't listen to a word I say, so would you perhaps try to persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring him some hearty grains. As a token of goodwill. Thank you, trolls. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you thought it was... Um... 
Yeah, I, I think I know what you meant. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Special product, a grain cake set. Bargain price of 2000. I'll take it. 10 grain cakes. Trolls, wow. We're all just afraid of Pokemon, but I happened to accidentally catch a Pokemon in this photo and it gave me a brilliant idea. Oh, that's Boniri! See how fluffy it is? How adorably soft? How irresistibly, impossibly cuddly? Once Pokemon see a Pokemon like this in the photo, photo they'll all want to have the portraits taken together with it but i need to get a better shot of it than this one if you find one can you bring it to me i have i have one on me multiple actually Wait, where is it? Wait, am I... Oh, I'm blind, yes. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I am definitely blind. Oh, it's even fluffier and lovelier than I imagined from that photo. This is it. This is exactly it. Let's get a proper shot at once. Nice. New option added. What new option? Lens filter? I don't I don't know. I don't really care too much about the photos. Um I guess take all of these. Um, I'll just keep those in there and then if I need them I can always take them out. Those clothes you were wearing when you first came to the village. I can't describe to you the shock they gave me. It's as if I got a glimpse of the future. There's no mistaking it. You're passionate about fashion aren't you? Mm, not really. If that's the case, then we should study fashion together. I'm sure your interest will grow in no time. <laughs> You're part of the Survey Corps, am I right? Please, I'm a I ask that you lend me your, your talents. I've been told that Hippopotas, which can be found around the Crimson Mirelands, have different appearances based on their gender. I feel like if I were able to see and compare them, it would inspire me to create new designs for my clothing. Sure, I, I guess that sort of makes sense. Maybe. I can do that. Um, interest you in some target practice? All you've got to do is lob some balls and try to pop some balloons. Easy peasy, fun and breezy. Even got some fine prizes lined up. Okay. If you manage to break 10,000 points, you'll be in for a real treat, I can tell you that. Okay, I, I want to do that. Where is it? Where is he? The practice field outside Jubilife? Oh, okay, wait. Is that... 
over this way. There's so many quests suddenly. It's because we unlo unlocked a new area, so there's a lot more Pokemon and stuff. There he is. Okay. Line up lots of targets, pop a lot per ball, practice, 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 and be the best of all. Sure. If you manage to break 10,000 po points, you'll be in, a, in for a real treat. I, I am up for the challenge, yes. I don't need no rules. Oh my god. Throw them. Throw. Okay. Apparently I'm throwing too high. Come on. Eh. Yeah, so this is where if you're not very good at aiming with a controller, it would be uh, difficult. Oh, actually I can move while... Never mind, I didn't realize I could actually move. I could just move around. Easily did it. Your score was 13,500. Now isn't that something? You set yourself a record. Well done. Based on your score this time, here's a prize just for you. Four balls of mud. Well, thanks. Oh, a nugget though. And 15 great balls. Okay, never mind. Thanks. That's actually really good. <laughs> the, the mud balls, though. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get a, a bigger score now that I know I can move around. Also, isn't this an enormous waste of Pokeballs? Oh my god, I'm a master. 122,000! <laughs> I mean, I can't. The last few throws, I was just terrible. 134,000 points, though. I never thought I'd see a score like that. Here's a prize fit for a champion. Five snow bombs. I, I mean, I guess that's okay. I didn't. 
I thought it would be better than that. <laughs> Are Pokeballs the only throwable object that exists in the world? Apparently. Apparently. Smoke bombs? Yeah. Where's money? <laughs> What if we do even better? Can I can I do better than this? Would he give me actual money? I'm not going to be my score, am I? Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. I don't think there's gonna be a score that, like, if I score this much again or higher, I don't think there's gonna be a better prize. I just don't think there would be, but maybe I'm wrong. the combos it's not happening not bad Not even February, where did all my money go? <laughs> Trolls, don't spend all your money. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So I don't think it's possible to get much higher than that. I mean, maybe it is if you're better at throwing than I am, but... I don't know if there's any better prizes, because his best prize seems to be smoke bombs. Which isn't bad, but it's not great either. I want to partner Pokemon too. Know what you need to do to be a aw super awesome member of the galaxy team? Be super brave? Nope. I mean, I guess that's also important, but you need to have a partner Pokemon. With a great partner Pokemon backing you up, you'll be as strong as a hundred people. I really want to catch a Pokemon of my own one day, 
so I've been throwing balls to get my aim spot on. Now I think I'm ready to practice with real Pokeballs. Okay. I bet you have loads of them since you're in the Survey Corps and all. Do you think you could just give me five of your Pokeballs, please? No. Buy your own Pokeballs. <laughs> you have no money left? No trolls. Please don't say that. Please don't say that, because you spent too much money on me, and I don't want to be... Uh, I don't want to, f to feel like you spent it on me and then don't have any left. But that's not... <laughs> I don't want that. I would give it back. Right, actually, uh, I'll just craft craft five new Pokeballs right in front of this guy and it'll be like, here, have these. You spent on, on a lot of useless stuff. Mine was just a fraction. <laughs> oh. Now I can catch a part parting Pokemon of my own. Here's a reward just for you, some grit dust. It was super hard to collect, so I hope you like it. I don't, but fine, thanks. I mean, I guess grit dust is fine. It's all right. Oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean to pick HP. Oops. Oh my, you. You know, you remind me somehow of my grandmother. She was always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel that same aura from you, as if you could become true friends with the Pokemon. It'd be, I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you come show me sometime. Okay, I can... I can show you the bot. He's been with me this whole time. Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You're a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother was precisely, precisely like you. The type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of knack of sen for sensing how compatible a person and Pokemon are. If you'd like to, you can keep coming, uh, keep on coming to show me your Pokemon. I'm happy to inform you at any time how they're feeling about you. Okay. Nice. You bought a few 3D figures bundles, even though you don't own a 3D printer. Interesting trolls. Interesting decision. Maybe one day you'll own one and then they'll be useful. <laughs> right? Oh, you're the girl from the survey court, aren't you? Thank goodness you came alone. Could I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it to make some medicine. It has three leaves and it tastes bitter enough to make you dizzy. I don't know where it grows. Uh... Bitter plant, huh? Spicy. That's not bitter. Um, this one. Wait, is that not the way? Oh, three leaves. Okay, yeah. That's not the one then. I guess I don't have them. Ground is sure hard to plow, so I'm looking for someone to help me a land hand. More fields means more food, which means everyone's happy, including the survey corps. We're all in this together after all, right? So if you have a ground type Pokemon, could I bur borrow it? Um, I guess. 
Geodude would count, right? Do we have a Geodude you could have, though, is the question. I don't... I just have one. Oh no, I have, I have one in my party as well, never mind. No, you can have this one. Oh, it's turning this gritty old soil, soil all soft and fluffy like it's nothing. How is it doing that? I don't know. Magic. And seeds are done here. What a trooper. That was some fine works. Any crops we plant here will do great. And it's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field work a while longer. Let's give it a holler if you want to swap in a different Pokemon to be our plowing partner. Okay. Wait, more fields available for farming. You can have crops grown for you in exchange for a fee. Um, Leprechaun. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I'm sure that's fine. I guess we'll come back at some point and get leprechauns from them. Maybe? I don't know. Um, okay, so how many... Oh my god, look at all these requests. Oh, I still need to show it uh, in the evening. Right, I forgot about that. Until evening. here uh wait was it this side i think it was this side yeah here it is Oh, at night. Evening isn't good enough. Hi, Devil's Cry. Welcome, welcome. Okay, nightfall then. Why are they being so particular about this? I'm just like, this is the Will of the Wisp. And she's like, no, it's not. It's a Pokemon. I'm like, yeah, but what you saw was the Pokemon. Just believe me. Damn it. Um, over here. That's it. That's the Will of the Wisp I saw, all right. So it was a Pokemon all along. Yeah, it was in the tree, which is why you didn't see the Pokemon itself, but the fire behind it, and especially during the night, difficult to see and all that. Yeah, you know, it happens. Yeah. Oh, a will of the wisp. <laughs> this, this kid. Ah, oh, save me, sis. Well, we just scared him for life. Great. Good job, team. 
We did it. Um... Give those to you guys, and then... You can sell the nugget and then put away the rare candy, and then I think we're ready to head out again. Um, I think... I don't know if I want to store anything else, not really. Money, 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 money. <laughs> um. Hi. Mind helping me train for a bit? Uh, sure. Why not? That's the stuff. I'll feel a lot better going out researching on my own if I can beat you. Oh, he's got two Pokemon now. Nice. Nice, Ray. Really? Oh my god. That's the second Pokemon you caught. It was a Mime Junior. Really? Why, why did you... Why did you think that was a good idea, Ray? They can't all be Pokemon Masters. Well, yeah, but... Come on, Mime Junior? At least this Pikachu is strong. Well, I mean... It did some damage. It's something, right? Oh boy, Pikachu is going to be angry with me again. <laughs> Seems right that the one who could defeat a lord would beat me too, I guess. Thanks for the battle. Here, let me give you a new recipe. I've come up with a new recipe. Um, Stell sprays. What? What? What is the stealth spray? You know, lately these space-time distortion things have been popping up here and there. I took a peek into one and saw some tempting items, so I tried ducking in to grab them. But it turned out there were legions of tough Pokémon inside. I barely made it out alive. Why would you even go into a space-time distortion in the first place? That seems like. <laughs> You're just like, oh, there's a rift of in time and space here. What if I go inside? <laughs> what if I just step in here and see what's on the other side? Are you insane? <laughs> you be careful around those distortions, all right? Yeah. Yeah, I will be. I, I will be careful about around them. Thanks. Oh, crazy kid. Um, right, let's, let's go to the Crimson Mirelands. Let's see what's over here. Okay. Here we are, my girl, the Crimson Mirelands, an area teeming with poison-wielding Pokémon, and plenty of others besides. Seems like you're in tough for a tough mission, I'm sure. You can handle it, though. Oh, that's right, you're heading to the Salation Ruins, aren't you? They're off that way. If you need a pointer, see the entrance way over there? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's an entrance. I can see it. 
You know, I wish we could tell where or when one of those space-time distortions was going to erupt. I wonder if checking your map would help. Space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokémon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokémon and items inside. Ooh. Be mindful for your limitations as well. Felt Pokémon are giving you trouble, blah blah blah. Yeah, okay. Hey there, you're that go-getter from the survey core, right? I've got a request if you've got some time. I'd love to know more about a Pokemon called Roselia. It has these gorgeous red and blue flowers for hands, such a graceful Pokemon. I often come to the Golden Lowlands to admire the Roselia, but just watching them from afar isn't enough for me anymore. Do you think you could, could complete Roselia's page in the Pokedex of yours and show it to me? I can, if I know where Roselia is. So... Space-time distortions? I don't see any. So I don't know if they show them on the map or if I just... If there's just not any active right now. Oh, Ghastly! Ghastly! Bam. Oh my god, it escaped. Um, you don't see me. I'm not here. I swear. I swear I'm not here. Why won't you believe me? Have a good luck, trolls. Uh, Amber. Hi Sworn, how are you doing? I saw you were playing earlier as well. Hope it went well. Um, you're just a tiny bit ahead of me, nice. Yeah, I just got here. In the, the swamp, <laughs> or whatever they call it. Um, what's it called? The Crimson Mirelands. That's what it's called. Very swampy and stuff. Um, okay, Ghastly. Swamp is easier, yes. Oh god, it saw me. Ghastly, please. Just let me catch this one. Oh, damn it, it turned around. Oh, jeez. Okay, run away. Run away. Carnivine. work somehow okay um wait it was not haunter I thought I saw a haunter Let's 
Swim. Swim. As if your life depends. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Why can't they swim? At least a little bit better than they. Really, I can't. It's right there. The land is right there. Oh my god. Okay, well. Run away. I don't want to die. sure that I don't get hit at all. Okay, we're fine. What's this? The remains of someone's campfire. Strange. want to get over there. Ghastly, no. Don't you dare. Here, dudes. Let's get a graveler. moves. Oh, you already have rock slide, yeah. Okay, let's see. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's the wisp thingies. Don't have enough space in your satchel. Oh no. Why does it keep happening? Um I don't need those. I should dump that firestone in the in the chest. Oh, right, actually. Can I... Can I quickly... Yes. Before we drown. <laughs> Before we drown, just... Don't. Um... Carnivine hasn't seen us. It is looking around the wrong way. Come on, go the other way. Thank you. No. <laughs> Why? Let me just hit you in the back, okay? Just stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
I do wonder if um, if your pastures become full, like when you hit all eight of them full, if they give you more, like with the Pokemon boxes in the later games. Or if you actually have to release more Pokemon to get space. I wouldn't mind releasing them, it just would take a bit. I know I have to go to Salation Ruins, but I also want to just explore. <laughs> oh, Tangrowth. It's a big boy. Can we catch it? Okay, well... <laughs> I tried. I tried. There's a regular Tangela though. We can probably get... Oh my god. Please. No. Let me get this Tangela, please. Please. No. Ow. No. I mean, you can. You can. It depends on the alpha and how... Like, I've caught alphas in Selene Balls before. Depends on level and all that stuff. Yeah, of course you can. Why would you not be able to? As long as they get into ball. Like the last one you saw bounced off. Because it was enraged already. But when it got in the ball the first time, there was a chance I could have just caught it. Um, there's always a chance. Because, um, I mean, you can see the icon, right? That's usually what it's like. If it's an axe on an alpha, then yeah, you can't. But sometimes it's not. And then you can just do it. You bastard. Oh my god, that actually messed me up. Yanma, please. Trying to get the other one. Ow. <laughs> what a bastard. Okay, okay, fine. Fine. What's this? Oh no. Geo dude. Don't have time for this, okay? that hey it was a shiny Pokemon oh no 
Oh, there's a crow gunk in there. No, you didn't see me. That's a lie. You didn't see me. Oh. Don't. Okay. You are asking for it, sir. be good. It's not. Damn you, Krogut. Why? No. I will stand in front. <laughs> I will block the attack with my own body. I don't think that works, but you know, it's the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts. There's more crow gunks. What's that one though? Is that... Oh, that's a Popotas. There's an Alpha as well. Is that a powder? Just a Graveler rolling around, sure. There's not a lot of grass to hide in here. Oh god. The dodge. Damn it. I keep missing. No. Oh my god. Why am I... I can be really good at throwing them, but apparently I'm I'm just messing up right now for whatever reason. Oh shit, that didn't kill. Oh jeez. Luxio, no. We're getting double teamed. Um Thing. Okay, I think we might get this one. Nice. What a mess. So far, this has been such a mess. Oh, who are you? Hello? So you're the Survey Corps child who quelled the Lord of the Woods, are you? I think you could help me with setting up our new base camp. We're making one by the bogs. Or Odo could sure use someone as capable as you. He's fresh con construction core recruit still. Still learning the ropes. Okay, what what do you need my help with though? Oh Stunky? Oh there, I'd keep your distance if I were you. Just look at those bothers. They're taking up the spot where I was going to set up a base camp. One stunky would be a headache, but this little group is a full-blown migraine. 
Maybe I can get someone else from the team to handle this, someone good at battling. I'll drive them off. Are you sure you're up to this though? They stink something first. fierce. Leave it to me. I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Your Snorlax is sad on the mall. You have a Snorlax? Oh my god. The only Snorlax I saw was one that beat me it beat me up real good. <laughs> what kind of munchlax and food is there? Yeah, I know they're around there. I never saw one though. Um Traveler should work though. Just slap him with some mud. Okay, apparently being obscured did not help him much. <laughs> You've only ever seen one just like your Eevee. Oh, nice. Eevee as well. Yeah, I don't have a lot of rare ones as far as I know. I do have an Abra, which was really annoying to catch. They're not rare necessarily, they're just annoying. <laughs> you weren't kidding, you've got talent. And your Pokemon were so brief too. Can't believe you handled three Stunky all by yourself without getting smelly. Thanks to you, we can get the base camp set up now. Hold on a minute. You can't get those up. <laughs> yeah, they, you really need to be lucky as well. Because if they, they teleport, and then if they teleport back and they suddenly face you, you're like, well, shit, <laughs> right? They're not close enough to the grass that you can really walk up to them without them teleporting again. And it's, they're frustrating. Yeah, nice. We've got a camp. That is very good. Oh, hi. This makes a second base camp for us to use. Perhaps some stunky will pop by. Uh, I'd rather they don't. Uh, Stardust. Um, What do I just... Put in this chest. The smoke bombs, I guess. I'm not gonna use them at the moment. Um, hmm. Let's rest a bit. And then let's go. 
go up here, see what's around. There's a tree shaken. It's a Burmy. Different form of Burmy though. So I probably want to catch this. Um, Okay, I don't know if this is gonna kill it. I hope not. But okay. Just barely. Let's evolve you. And then I think we're gonna replace it with something else. I don't know. Maybe. No, actually, we already have a fire type. Um, Ghastly could be fun. Let's put Ghastly in there. Um, can you actually evolve them without trading in this? Like Graveler into Golem and stuff? I, I doubt it. Um, I really want to swap out the ponyta I have for the shiny. Doesn't mean I have to level it up more though. But that's okay. I have to use a special item to buy with merit points. Okay. Nice. Well, at least there's a way. Um. Don't think I. Why is backspace so annoying? <laughs> Throw everything in the storage. Organize it. Okay. Yeah, collecting the backpacks. I mean, it's not like a problem, really.
Zoomies. Uh, trying to look around what other like new Pokemon there are around. Onyx. No, no birds. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Oh, wasn't back. Okay, he saw me. I think. He didn't start combat though. But might be okay. Good afternoon, Yoda. <laughs> Stupid Onyx. So while I said it was possible, it is very, <laughs> very much rare that you can. Um. Oh, well. Um, uh, what level is it? Are you actually? You're level fifty. Yep, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> um. People Naruto, yeah. Just Naruto run away. You're from the Galaxy team, aren't you? Do you know of a medicine that can cure headaches? I need it for my Psyduck. I live together with these little ones and I can tell they're suffering terribly. I wish I could do something to help, but none of the medicines I've tried have worked at all. There are so many people in the Galaxy team. Surely you must have some sort of healer. Could you ask for some medicine? Okay. Poor Psyduck. Oh, ay ay ay. Oops, ay ay ay. Okay, well, let's actually move towards the quest rather than running around like a crazy person. Oh! Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I was looking at the other one, not that one. Run! They seem to have calmed down, which means maybe I can just... Okay, how... Oh, 
shit. Skullbat, why? Why did you do that? Why? Ruining my... Uh, ruining every, everything, Golbat. How dare you? I just want to catch a Rhyhorn. Zubat? No. Just no. Mm. Oh my god, it worked. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, Zubat. Seriously. To get out. I already disliked Zubat somewhat, <laughs> but now even more so. Murkrow? Okay, that horn scroll. I feel like that would be problematic, especially with the amount of Murkrow around. They're just going to be annoying, aren't they? If that had worked, that would have been amazing. <laughs> uh, so you can't catch it right now, but now you can, see? So back to the... Okay, now it's just angry. Fair. I would be angry too if I got caught twice like that. Um... Thing here. Um. Let's actually move back here. Found a mountain. I'm Kalaba of the Pearl Clan, Warden Kalaba to you. Hello. Now would you look at that? You have a Celestica flute. You must be the one they say fell out of the space-time rift. Uh, I guess. Oh, I the vague response, hmm? Something to hide? I've already heard about you, that you quelled Cleavor in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions. But I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. There probably was, but... 
And what you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission, after all. And you run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from your sort, or the Diamond Clan for that matter. That young lady Arezu offered to help, but associating with the Diamond Clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. There's much I must do, and I'd prefer not to be distracted any further. Okay. Grumpy old lady. Ah, Marty, how about you show me the strength that could quell a frenzied lord? Gladly. A battle with you might let me experience even a fraction of the power the nobles wield. I don't know why you showed up here, Volo, but sure. Why not? Togepi? Look at my shiny. It's so shiny. Um, that's Ember. Called back Togepi. Oh. Got a gibble, huh? Okay, you know, let's send out um, send out Graveler. some mud. Is it ever gonna miss? Apparently not. Okay. Send out Gaston. They're poisoned. Oh, don't pull those. Roots. Fine, I guess I'll send out my actual big boys then. I wanted to get the other ones some more XP, but I don't know if it works that way actually. They all seem to just get XP after the battle, so it's... You're quite adept at instructing your Pokemon in battle. My goodness, that was fun. Nice. Such, such prodigious strength. Now let me just heal up your Pokemon. Well, now I think that settles it. I must ask you your help in retrieving this stolen wall fragment. 
with your skill it should be a kinch. It's stolen. Yes, exactly. Some bandage pillaged the Salation ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? No. There are a trio of band bandits, a trio of bandits that have hit us. Even hit us ginkgo mer guild merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Mistress Calaba is doing everything she can to retain the fragment, but at 99 years old, it's a bit hard for her to chase out meats all over the place. She's 99? Jeez. So what do you say, kind madam? Why not help find the fragment for the warden? Oh, naturally, I'll be happy to lend you a hand. Those sisters have swiped my wares too, and I'm no ginkgo guild merchant if I take that lying down. Yeah, okay. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Midlands camps. Perhaps worth checking out? Yeah, I've been there. I've, I've been there. No. Oh, <laughs> I was like, who needs bridges? But apparently I do need bridges. The jump wasn't quite, quite good enough. Now who might you be? Not some straight traveler from the look of you? There's only one reason people go poking around here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly before we show this poor fool how wrong she was to assume she could ever beat us. Um, I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seeing double. I'm the middle sister. I'm one clover you can't pick. Oh my god. Heads, I win. Tails, you lose. You've got no chances in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest. Coin. But I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Okay. <laughs> We're the infamous bandit trio. The misfortune sisters. And your luck's just run out. Let me handle this, sisters. I'll only hurt her a little. Come on, Toxic Oak. Let's douse this fool in poison. <laughs> Team Rocket stand in. It feels like it, doesn't it? What's the names? Coin, Clover, and what was the other one? Well, I knew that wasn't fast, so... Oh. Saravia? Let's do this. Ooh, close. the best Eevee evolution. Um, oh, there's some really good ones. Uh, I like Glacian a lot. Aspion is great. Vaporeon is, is very good as well. There's some really good ones. I, I don't know if I could pick one that's the best, necessarily. The Galaxy team continues to spoil things for me, even after I've left. 
Take the blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. So we don't fight the other ones at all? The weird writing on it made, made us think it's the stupid thing was some kind of treasure. But it turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. <laughs> all that effort for nothing. Oh, charm is what... Yeah, okay. Tell me why you were seeking, even seeking us out. What set you on this path? I wanted to help Ursa Luna. Goodness, how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. And I've got the score to settle with the Galaxy team, which now includes you. Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it in days of spring, beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty? Your days are also numbered, galaxy fool. Okay. These people... What's their problem? Why do they not like Team Galaxy? What have they done? Why well, you have to be mad, exactly. We got the fragment back safe and sound. I'm well aware of Calabas' reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old-fashioned, so on. But she's given the Pearl Clan all she has ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm, calm Ursaluna's frenzy, Marty. A raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. I would say if it comes to bother me again, well, come as often as you'd like, but it won't change my mind. Uh, what? You went and retrieved a fragment from those bandits? Why I'll go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that eager to calm or Saluna, hmm? If possible. Evie has been ready to evolve for like the last half of your stream and didn't want to touch it because you were not sure of the requirements and just read that said it could evolve because it has max friendship which you need for three of the evolutions whereas the others need stones. Think, think as to what you want. Right. Yeah, because... Um... It would be Sylveon, Umbreon, or Espeon with friendship. No, would Sylveon be friendship? Isn't it slightly different? I don't remember. Um, but then the other ones, so Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon are fire water and uh, thunderstone and then you have um, glacial and leafion which were like rocks you had to find the like the ice rock and the mossy rock or something that were just out in the world but i think lately they've put them as like evolutionary items as well so Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of good evolutions. It would be better if you had multiple Eevees so you can have all of them, but yeah. I'll admit I didn't expect anyone else to truly care for Ursa Luna. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. Boom. 
And there we go. Good as new. I mean, sure, it's kind of cracked. Okay. <clears throat> All loves to... <laughs> Wait... Oh my god, it's so... No... All... Lives... Or our lives, I guess, could be to... Oh jeez, the... I hate this script so much. <laughs> the unknown script is awful to read. To... I don't know what the last one is. Is it an H? Yeah, the big boys... I've got... 28 sworn. I still haven't done it. I've caught 28. The guy is very particular in wanting one that's over 2 feet 8. And the high, the tallest ones I have are 2 7. And I have 3 of them, I think. It's like, ugh. Yeah, but I, I meant the the third word. Because it's all lives. Something. I don't, I don't even know. Two. Because the, the last word is other. All lives to... I th touch. Is that touch, really? Oh my god, that's awful. <laughs> it doesn't look like a U. I, I guess... Sure. All lives touch other lives to a, a, to create something a new and alive. Let me read what it says. I just... Sorry, I didn't have to... <laughs> I did say that. At least I was right. <laughs> At least I was right. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other, like how you helped me retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinner's guidance. What is your name then, girl? But you're 99 years old. You've had, you've had the opportunity to study this fragment for most of that. And you only just now realized what it meant. He just skipped over that part to where she reads us. Yeah, I, I just wasn't sure if she would read it. So I wanted to know what it said. But of course they would, because it's a Pokemon game. Um, what is your name then, girl? I see, Marley. Please lend me your strength so that we may help Ursaluna. It's true that Ursaluna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state if we can just give him some medicine. I could never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Ursaluna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. 
Pokemon game can't keep a secret. Yeah, they can't actually um, keep it in suspense or something, or have you find out some way yourself. No, they have to tell you. They have to be certain that you understand. Oh my god, I felt no. Oh no, I'm being targeted by a wild Pokemon. No. No. <laughs> okay. I'm still being targeted? Okay, well, I'll just run then. No. Oh wait, that's be you but you. I didn't even realize. Would you turn around? Oh yeah, did you ever faint, Soren? That's a good question, Age. I am wondering. You just drown a lot, but you've never actually fainted, right? Like actually, you had to be like rescued from the uh, from death. Because drowning isn't death. Drowning just hurts, but it's not instant death. You were close when you had hyper beams chasing you today. It can happen, yeah. Uh, I died. I did die. Not to Pokemon, mind you. Not to drowning. To falling. <laughs> From I was not damaged at all. I just ran off a mountain and just died. Instantly. Um, lost an... What did I lose? I think it was like a... a heavy ball, uh, some other items that I didn't really care about, and then some... Two, four revives, I think, or three revives. And then XP candy that I really was annoyed about. Like a medium XP candy. Newton claims another life, yes. But it was awful. I don't... I hate losing items in games. But it did give me, like... Um, ideas about, like, oh, I probably should put more items in the item box. Would you? It wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> we were one day from retirement, yes. Yes, we were. Well, I, I do think I need to head off because um, it is getting <laughs> later than I thought I would stop. Uh, I always do this. I'm like, oh, I'll stop on time and then no, <laughs> I can't stop. I, I really just want to keep going. But I need to go to my parents. Can't be late for the pizza. I can and I will. No, I, I won't be late. It's fine. Um, right. Let me go over to this screen. There you go.
Yeah, I didn't use any of the prayers because I was like, ah, I'm, I'm not going to die. And I didn't, except for that one moment where I just ran off a cliff. Also, to, because I was wondering how far I could get with it. I didn't think I would die from the fall damage. Like, I jumped off on purpose. It wasn't like, oh, I fell to my death by accident or whatever. I, I did it on purpose and then lost items for it. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I felt really dumb because I should have really saved beforehand. Um, but yeah. It was a dodge No, It was either a run or a dodge. But that's because those increase your speed. They make you fall farther. Like, they give you distance. Um, let's see who is streaming right now. Uh, Gem is streaming Pokemon Legends. Mongoose is streaming Pokemon Legends. Uh, <laughs> Dan is streaming... Majora's Mask, okay. Bree is doing his Mario Kart, which could be fun as well. But then a lot of people are over there anyway. So... I don't... He doesn't need the raid, you know? <laughs> um, let me... Let me go and raid Dan, you know? Go have uh, have some fun watching Majora's Mask, which is a great game. Um, I know it's not Pokemon, but hey, it's it's still fun. So, uh, and Dan is lovely as well. But yeah, I'm gonna go have some uh, pizzas at my parents, and uh, yeah, I'll be back on Tuesday, probably with um. Cosmic Star Heroine at first, and then going back into Pokemon again. Uh, because I want to finish Cosmic Star Heroine. I <laughs> think we were very close to finishing it when Pokemon came out. So it was like, I, I need to at some point go back, just finish it, and then go back to Pokemon. Um, so we'll do that. And then, um, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Am I playing off stream? No. Just on stream. Everything on stream. I I barely ever play games off stream. Um so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, go say hi to uh Dan. Send all the love over there. Um and I hope you enjoyed the stream and everything and it's always lovely to see you guys. So um yeah, have a great day and everything. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, just filling time.